Now, as we head into this 2020 election cycle, efforts are underway across the board to protect against foreign influence in our elections. And over the weekend, a new state law went into effect, creating essentially a cyber wing of the Ohio National Guard. In this News 5 original, John Kosick tells us what state and federal leaders are doing is only part of an equation that includes you. The new cyber lab at the University of Akron will play a role in the local Ohio cyber reserve team now being formed under a new state law that went into effect last week. A civilian corps under the National Guard to handle a cyber emergency. In Washington, they're tackling a different type of cyber threat in the form of what are called deepfakes that don't infect our computers, but rather trick our minds. Like Think it? of the movie How Forrest Gump. I got it. Hey. I believe he said he had to go pee. Back then, the only people who could produce those were movie studios because they were really expensive to produce. Well, now anybody with an iPhone and a MacBook can basically create a deepfake. Northeast Ohio Congressman Anthony Gonzalez sponsored the legislation just passed by the House to identify and combat deepfakes, which this BuzzFeed example with actor Jordan Peele time. shows are even more realistic today. Moving forward, we need to be more vigilant with what we trust from the Internet. That's a time when we need to rely on trusted news sources. That's a concern among Ohio voters highlighted in this Baldwin-Wallace Great Lakes poll with 65 percent saying social media has increased the risk of foreign interference in our elections. It's a result that shows voters are skeptical, which is good, but. The skepticism also goes across the board. It's skepticism of the mainstream media, cable media, social media, and so really the question then becomes, does that get to a point where it starts to drive voters away because they don't believe anyone? Beyond the influence on voters, Gonzalez believes identifying deepfakes is important to preventing corporate crimes, as he heard recently about the case of a bank CEO. They have to go through multiple verification steps every time he gets on a phone call because they know that his voice has been recorded enough where they could basically manipulate a call. And if you can manipulate a call, you can manipulate a scam or worse, the markets. Much like the state is seeking civilian help with a new cyber reserve, the feds are doing so by offering up to $5 million in a contest to find ways to be able to automatically identify these deepfakes. Live in the newsroom, John Kasich, News 5.